Today, we're going to find out what happens when Karens treat the courtroom as if it's a fast food restaurant, yelling and demanding to see the manager. Is this Karen FaceTiming someone or reading a dramatic script off her phone? You decide. Somebody oh. please send help! I'm just so intense! Help! He's the gavel! He's the gavel! Somebody get this ham sandwich out of my court. This Karen lunged at the judge during the session and had to be escorted away. No. You will be held in contempt of this court if you I become don't, disruptive. I, don't care. I haven't done anything to this court. I haven't done anything to okay. him. She will be arrested for contempt of court. It doesn't, make any, it doesn't court. make any difference. You will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. You go now. This Karen lawyer treats the court like it's her dentist appointment and the judge was not having it. May it please the court, Your Honor. Paul Nicoletti appearing on behalf of myself. Good afternoon, Judge. Karen Stevens. In pro per for my motion for sanctions against Mr. Nicoletti for this uh, vexatious and frivolous PPO. I'm sorry, on this what? I have a motion for sanctions against... I know that. And the purpose of the sanctions are, are based on what? It was a frivolous and vexatious PPO based on nonsense. I am not stalking Mr. Nicoletti. I haven't signed a PPO. The, his petition for a PPO. I, okay, I'm, let me... Okay, were you served? No, I wasn't, but may... No, you may not. How can you ask to sanction someone when you haven't even been served? That's the point. He Stevens, do not, do not interrupt me when I'm speaking, ma'am. I have a constitutional right to be heard. On what basis? There is no case before me, ma'am, other than the fact that you filed this frivolous motion taking up this court's time for no good reason other than your own personal vendetta against this man for whatever reason you may have, and I really don't care because it does not involve me or my court. However, had I issued a PPO, you would have a basis to be before me. I did not issue a PPO. He did not pursue his right to a hearing on the PPO. You were never served, and here you are taking up my time so that you want me to chastise him and, and make him pay money? No, ma'am. Your relief is denied, and in addition to that, I am sanctioning you with costs of $500, forthwith, to the county clerk's office. Thank you, Your Honor. I knew it was fixed. I beg your pardon? I said I knew it was fixed. Miss Stevens, mm -hmm. I highly suggest that you just exit my courtroom and go, go pay the sanctions before I find you in contempt. Now, where do I go? The, the clerk's office in the main the, part of the courthouse. Oh, wait. This Karen was told off by the judge for being a little too excited over the sentence. Old Zaley Rasmussen. It has been determined by this court. Mr. Rasmussen, you are not the father. <laughs> Miss yeah. Miller. Be respectful. I'm sorry. Miss Miller. I'm sorry. Yes. That's a lot of nerve considering the alternative is somebody that don't want nothing to do with you or your child. I'm sorry. That's a lot of nerve. <sighs> you just showed me where your priorities were right there. I'm sorry. Because I held out hope that you weren't just acting a fool because you so mad at him because he cheated on you that you would cheat your child out of a father. But that cheering you did, what you cheering? I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me or my child. What you cheering for? I'm not. No, you were. He is over here breaking down because he loves this child so much. I sit in here day after day after day with women hoping a man would drive 16 miles to see their baby, much less 160 miles each way. 
and abide by a court order and sign a birth certificate and come day after day and week after week so they can grow visitation to have a relationship with the child. And you have no compassion for not just him, but for Zaylee. She's three years old. Now, he's not just gonna be heartbroken. We gotta break this news to her. And you're all over here cheering like it's a sport. This is this baby's life. And I ask you, where's this other man? I don't know. And you know he don't want nothing to do with you. Sitting up there cheering. Mr. Rasmussen, I am so sorry. I know this hurts you. Thank you, Your Honor. I don't know what I'm gonna do. She's my whole, my whole world. Everything I do is for her. I, she was the reason I went to work every day. <laughs> I know you have a bond with her. I feel like my whole world is in ruins now. Oh. Miss Miller, I'm gonna say this to you before I adjourn court. Your child deserves to know who her father is. Whether or not that man wants to be in her life physically present and participate. He does have a legal obligation to help support her financially. It's important that you make this right. She'll one day ask, where is my father? Every action you take from this point will write the story that you will later have to tell her. I wish you the best of luck. We have counseling for you. Court is adjourned. This Karen lawyer is probably the lousiest one you've ever seen. Just hear me out on one thing. What is one it? Thing. Make it quick. Uh, I promise you I'll make it quick. Let's say that you have a battery operated vibrator. You know what? what? We're, we're done yeah. right there. We're done. Is you're, there anything further You're about you, to sir? climax. Oh, okay. Well, the batteries go out. Okay, thanks. That's him. Okay, great. It may have just been a Zoom meeting, but things were getting heated behind the camera. Just said, I now, she's li now she's lying, Your Honor, Judge. Your Honor, if I may, Mr. Spiceman, just stop in her. Oh, don't call Mr. me a liar. Spiceman. Spiceman. Don't Listen, call me a liar, Mr. The judge had to give Karen a firm reality check after Karen threw a tantrum in the court as if they got her McDonald's order wrong. But this isn't Burger King. When the sign changes to Burger King, you can have it your way. Right now, this is my courtroom, and you will answer my questions. And stop. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth under penalty of perjury? Yes or no? Are you going to tell the truth? All right, I'll take that as silence. I understand her attorney is on here. Where is her attorney? He's the chief Again, say anything again without telling me you're going to tell the truth, and I will hold you in contempt of court for 93 days. This lawyer, Karen, would really like to speak to the manager. With the trial, it's completely unnecessary, and I know I have to waive a jury just, trial. I want the right to waive a jury trial. To set the matter for a pre-trial conference. This Darren lawyer walked out of the courtroom because things weren't going his way. But she chose not to be here. But that's not accurate, Judge. Okay, we were, I we don't, had, okay, your objections noted. We had a phone status conference two weeks ago in which Ms. Schiff will Your objection case. is noted. Okay. I'm not going to participate in this proceeding without the elected county prosecutor. I think this is a sham that you're going forward. When the you, court was brought you're going to sit here. You're going to sit here. I, you were told about her unavailability and specifically told her on the phone not to cancel that appointment, that it wouldn't be a problem. Well, I'll tell you what. If you want to be here for the decision, that's your business. Well, Your Honor, I think this is outrageous. You're going forward without the prosecutor. I have prepared my remarks and my decision here today, um, and I am, uh, I guess, uh, I am uh, glad I had the opportunity to spend the night to do some deliberation on this matter and think about it. This Karen tackles her own lawyer to the ground in the middle of the session because things weren't going her way. Stop it. Stop it. Rachel, call. 
Turns out this Karen really didn't like the court's decision and decided to exit the courtroom in the most dramatic way possible. These Karen lawyers were so bad at their jobs that even the judge was appalled. Yeah, help me oh, okay. Who's questioning this witness? Hello, which witness? Which Your witness? next witness. This, these don't have anything to do with it. Yeah, we're just entering them. These are just records. We're just doing it now. So is it a secret who's going to be questioning your next witness? Because I'm going to find out in like three minutes. No. Who was doing it? Um, it the records don't relate, but if, it, if we call the witness, it will be me. I'm assuming you're talking about that. Who is your next witness, and when are they being called, and which attorney is going to question them? Let me be clear, if I wasn't before. Because if these don't have anything to do with your next witness, then why are we having a jury wait outside right now? Just because we were trying to move everything in, because it, in terms of timing, we do it now. In terms of timing, it would be much better to do it during the lunch break, when the jury needs longer than you all. So we'll go ahead and pass on this. Let's bring the jury in, please. Um, Your Honor? Yes? Um, at this time, the defense rests. Other than putting in our records. <laughs> We're not playing chess. I mean, will you please take the jury back in? Thank you. All right, go ahead and bring your records. To be. Nicholas Cruz Henderson, episode one record. Let me, let me just stop. State, are you going to have anything ready for today? No. <laughs> we're, we're, the we're last told us there was 80 witnesses. We're waiting for 40 more witnesses. I just want to say, this is the most uncalled for, unprofessional way to try a case. You, you all knew about this, and even if you didn't make your decision till this morning, to have 22 people plus all of this staff and every attorney march into court, be waiting as if it's some kind of game, now I have to send them home. The state's not ready. They're not going to have a witness ready. We have another day wasted. I, I just, I honestly, I have never experienced a level of unprofessionalism in my career. It, it's unbelievable. So, Judge, you at, we had any pretrial matters. You asked us to be here at 9.15. We were here at 9.15 to discuss pretrial matters. I have been practicing in this county for 20 years. You know what? Years. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to well, hear it. Judge, you're insulting me on the record in front of my client, and I believe that I should be able to okay, defend Okay, you myself. can do that later. You can put, make your record later. But you've been insulting me the entire trial. So, blatantly, taking your headphones off, arguing with me, um, storming out, coming late intentionally if you don't like my rulings. So, quite frankly, this has been long overdue. So please be seated. You can receive the evidence. I will receive the evidence. And then you can um, put whatever you want on the record at the end. Go ahead. 2B, which is Nicholas Cruz Henderson Records, Episode 1. I'm sorry? Episode 1, Henderson Records for Nicholas Cruz. 2B. 2B? I'm sorry, 2B as in Victor. Is there any objection to 2B as in Victor? Sorry, what was that again, please? Two B. I can't read. Oh, Henderson Behavioral Health Episode One. Yes, sir. Without objection, two V will be received as ninety-three. Two W, Henderson Records Episode Two. Is there any objection to two W? No, Your Honor. 2W without objection will be received as night. This Darren lawyer argues with the judge as if she's his neighbor who accidentally stepped on his private property. I'm not going to. This is. You are. Not I'm being respectful to this proceeding you, or to with this respect, jury. No, it's with not. With all due respect, respect all stating due respect, that doesn't make it respectful. I was this work by you, Mr. Brooks. Monica Pass. Stop talking till the jury court. is out. Okay, Thank you. So why can we address this before they came out? I'm that not going time, to address it. That bottom was the line. time to address it, though. We're supposed to do all the, all the addresses before the jury comes out, before we start the matter. Please I be seated. I was to simply address paperwork that was given to me by you, Your Honor. That states Mr. That Brooks, 
It states that you have interrupted me repeatedly. You are on the verge of being removed to that courtroom. I don't want to do that. I want you to stay here. But you keep interrupting me and bringing up irrelevant matters. I told you yesterday as a courtesy that was provided to you so that you would frankly not complain that you didn't get it as quickly as possible. Okay, I am not the custodian of the records. If you have an issue with what was provided to you, how it was provided to you, then take it up with the clerk of court. But from now on, I am not going to be the messenger and give you documents that you request to the custodian of the records or from the custodian of the records. They will simply have to be delivered to you at the jail. But that is in response to your discussion or whatever we want to call it this morning. I'm not taking it up. Issue. All right, it is irrelevant. It, it needed to be noted for the record. It doesn't need it to was, be noted, sir. Previously, I'll that. make the appropriate record. Stop interrupting me. The jury's coming out. We're continuing with this trial despite your repeated efforts to disrupt. That's Yesterday, sit down. Record. Yesterday alone, sir, 17 interruptions, not including the opportunity that I gave you where you spent 15 minutes, okay, discussing what were primarily either irrelevant or baseless accusations and requests not based in law or fact. I was abundantly patient with you yesterday. And you still have to and, verify by proof any of what and I said, none of that is required, sir. Because and it is. You can't verify Your belief proof. that Where's that's the, the law the doesn't... This Darren lawyer was told off by the judge for being awful at his job. And the court left the door open. This... For me, not for you. My understanding of you your... should have come and asked. Why would you think that that made it okay for you without any advance notice to bring this matter before the jury? You are already, you were, I, I was a, astonished when you began your examination by commenting on the defendant's post arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country for 40 years, 50 years. I have no idea why you would do something like that. And it gives, um, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So I don't know what you're up to. The defendant was using this exact same weapon. He was using it in a manner to try and protect property. No, he wasn't. There's, Your Honor, I, with all due respect. I'm not going to rehash the motion. That's absolutely untrue. It and is there's, no, no, no. You're arguing... Interrupting the judge may be the worst decision this Darren lawyer has ever made in his life. That's Right, but that's a different, no, no, Attorney Pattis, Attorney Pattis, Attorney Pattis, how many times do I have to say when I'm speaking, you stop, you have been a member of the bar for a long, long time, and you know. This Darren was told very nicely to shut up. Madam Corporal, Court, can you read back the question? Mr. Wolf, Mr. Nelson, I've shown no aspects of sexual harassment. You can't call me. Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson, you need to take a moment. Mr. Nelson, you need to take a moment with your attorneys. Hold on, sir. Sir. Members of the jury, Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson. Mr. Nelson, Mr. Nelson, are we clear that you're going to stop talking? I need a verbal affirmative. Mr. Nelson, Talk, talk with your attorneys, and then your attorneys. We, I'm, gonna, I, I'm gonna, 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 Mr. Nelson. Like an idiot. Mr. Nelson, Ms. Simmons has asked for a moment to talk with you privately. I'm going to grant her request, and you're going to have that opportunity. You need to follow the deputy's instructions so they can facilitate this. Okay, go ahead. This court outburst was probably the most entertaining thing the jury has seen in a while. I'm I will get to see him. But I will see you in 10 years. Objection, Your Honor. Thank you very much. Let's take him outside for just a moment. Mr. Asher, can you take that photograph? 
This Darren is the perfect example of what not to do in court. So that had to be that had to be said. So it's the defendant. That's not how it was said. That, that was how I said. You want to run the record back? Mr. Brooks. So I'm the only one. I got one. Mr. I got Brooks. one ear that work and I heard that. This on, is man. to benefit on, you so that no, you not. understand Ain't none your of this to witness benefit me, so let's has be clear a prior record. Your Honor, when I leave the table, I'm away from the courtroom and I have to elevate my voice. This is the so she alleged record of Abel Lescott. Stop man. talking. Come on, man. Like, I don't oh. know who y'all be thinking y'all fooling. I accept the value and turn for value. This uh, document. One more interruption and you're going to be removed to the next court. That's what you want to do anyway. This Darren on the stand throws tantrums as if he's done nothing wrong in his life. I mean, I said years ago, I thought San Diego had him. Robin Parker's sitting right here. He's real, isn't he? Yes. And for years, you put a target on his back, didn't you? Objection in the form of that judge. Oh. Well, I mean, I, I didn't you? I, I better I've said his name. It's true. I've said other people's names. Who they are? You put a target on his back, just like you did every single parent and loved one sitting here. Did you? No, I didn't. No, you Jackie, didn't. That's argumentative. There's no. It's speculative. There is no foundation for it, and it's inappropriate. Let's it's move on. He's a real people. You know, Jackie, Mr. Jones. I think you just told me to move on. Just like all the Iraqis, but you liberals kill and love. It's just you're unbelievable. You switch on emotions on and off when you want. You're, it's just ambulance chasing. Why don't you show a little respect? Objection, Judge. I think that you get what you get in this courtroom. Objection. You have families in this courtroom here that lost children, sisters, wives, moms. Is this a struggle session? Are we in China? I've already said I'm sorry hundreds of times, and, I, and I'm done saying I'm sorry. I didn't progenerate this. I wasn't the first person to say it. American gun owners didn't like being blamed for this as the left did, so we rejected it mentally and said it must not be true. And but I legitimately thought it might have been staged, and I stand by that, and I don't apologize for and, it. And, and don't apologize, Mr. Jones. Please don't apologize. No, I've already apologized to the parents over because and over again. Know I don't objection. apologize to you. Objection. Don't apologize objection. to you. You're going to do it again. Objection, Judge. Aren't you? Objection. No, I'm not. Objection, argumentative. Don't apologize objection. to you. Well, it's hard for me to get a word in it twice. It is, but I think your there's client, one officer of the court and one witness, or witness and so an officer of the court heard the objection. And I can't rule on your attorney's... This Darren lawyer really tried to test the judge's patience and found out the consequences. Mr. Finger? First of all, Your Honor, this was the subject of a motion. I'm well aware of that. And the court left the door open. This. For me, not for you. My understanding of you your... should have come and asked for uh, for reconsideration. You did on the one motion, and in fact, I granted your motion for reconsideration. That was excuse not our me, motion. I, I, I uh, not uh, excuse me. I, uh, I did. I granted. We did not move that to reconsider. That was their motion. I, I, we have I, not filed any me. motions to reconsider in this case. That was their motion for reconsideration, which I denied. But. Uh, I said, I denied it, or I indicated a bias towards denial is what I did. Held it open with a bias towards denial. Why would you think that that made it okay for you without any advance notice to bring this matter before the jury? You are already, you were, I, I was a, astonished when you began your examination by commenting on the defendant's post-arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country for 40 years, 50 years. I have no idea why you would do something like that. And it gives, um, uh, well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So I don't know what you're up to. May I respond? Yes. We filed another acts motion on this exact issue because in my mind, and I argued this, it is identical to what was going on on the night of August 25th in the sense that the defendant was using this exact same weapon. He was using it in a manner to try and protect property. No, he wasn't. There's, Your Honor, I, with all due respect. I'm not going to rehash the motion. Yeah, that's absolutely untrue. It and is, there's, no, no, no. Your arguments of record, my comments are of record, and why I ruled as I did is of record. There's nothing that I heard in this trial to suggest that anything's changed, even if you're correct in your assumption that you know more than uh, I did at the time, 
Uh, you should have come to the court and say, I want to go into this. Uh, why you would think that you could go into it without any advance notice to the court, I don't understand that. And as the uh, defense is pointing out, you're an experienced trial lawyer and this should not have been gone into. You can tell that the judge had enough of Darren's nonsense and had to tell him off. We'll be available later, Your Honor. You said at the end of the day, I'm trying to get in your way. Okay. What was the threat? Did Mr. Mummert know about this threat? Mr. Mummert knew about the threat. And what was it? You can move closer if you want, or that's fine. You can come inside the well about where Mr. Mummert's at. What was the threat? From who to whom? In Mr. Mummert's office building, there was a gentleman who was looking, evidently looking for a vantage point um, on the floor below Mr. Mummert at a place where there's uh, kids in school, where, where they uh, organize the kids to go to school. It's My office is one floor above the Early Lo uh, Learning Coalition um, on Winkler. Um, it, okay. They uh, they called the police on him. The police arrived. He he said that, or it, it, the woman he talked to, he told the woman that um, she wondered what he was doing. Uh, he says everybody will know in a couple of days. It's going to be all over the news. Um, evidently, it involved the building across the street uh, as well. The sheriff's office building across the street or across the parking lot hired the sheriff's department to stay in the parking lot. I had a discussion with the sheriff. Um, it was reported to the police. Uh, there was some concern. Actually, there was well, who was it? I don't remember his name. Like that. Swamp, Chris Swanson? That was the gentleman's office. So, what would that have to do with videoing random people leaving my courtroom? Well, Your Honor, we frequently. Uh, video in the lobby to see witness reactions and things like that. And Not that I'm aware of. This is the first I've ever had it happen, and I've been a judge for 12 years. At least it's the first time it's been reported to me, and my staff's pretty good. Yeah. Many times, you know, we're all putting an a investigator out in the lobby, just like the state does with their investigators. They have them. They don't videotape people. Yeah. No, they don't. And I understand the, the videotaping. I, I, who's paying for this? We are. I am. My office. Mr. Mummert's not paying for it? No. Anyway, Your Honor, the point was we weren't sure what... Well, I mean, before you said it was a threat, now it's now it's reactions from people. I mean, which is it? Well, no, in this particular case, the incident we're talking about, he was outside in the lobby with the TV cameras, and he was approached by one of the bailiffs and asked what he was doing there, and he said he was hired by me. The bailiff came to me and said he can't um, film there, and he said there was a court order, and I immediately shut it down and had him leave the building. Well, it's general practice. I think there's actually signs that there's no video recording in this courthouse, period. It's not even my my rule. It's a rule by the chief judge and for the whole building. That's it, folks. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.